What's going on everyone? My name is Bruno and this is my IBA Season 5 Draft Analysis for the Chernobyl Dragalgis. Guys, I am really, really, really excited to bring this, uh, this league to you guys. This is one of the best draft leagues uh, around the community at, at these days. And uh, yeah, really, really, um, I want to really bring a really thank, thank you, thank you, thank you to Monkferno and Slidey Salty uh, to let me be part of the IBA Season 5. And um, yeah, so I, I followed IBA Season 4. Uh, it was a really good league and uh, I decided to apply to, to be able to, to bring some, to test some new competition. Uh, this league is of course full of, of really good players and uh, yeah, uh, thankfully uh, the, the mods decided to um, let me in. I, I, I'll try to, to, be, to, to bring some nice competition to this league. Uh, in terms of the draft, of course, um, that's what bring the, uh, it's what brings me here today uh, I uh, I've decided to uh, draft 12 Pokemon so we could just draft between 10 or and 12 Pokemon um, depending on, on the points of course we want to spend on the team uh, I've decided to draft a, a full uh, 12 team um, in terms of my plan I kind of wanted to draft Dracovish plus Rillaboom uh, of course Dracovish got uh, got sniped from me like two picks uh two or three picks i think two picks before me which was kind of bad i had to replant uh, but um yeah i decided to for my round one grab um a pokemon that i think it's really good as well uh, so uh, a bit more versatile at least so i've decided to grab victini here so for 18 points victini fire psychic um, base 100 across the board of course but it's really hard can be either physical or special um, nice momentum with u-turn and that's another thing on this team i wanted to grab a team with a uh, lots of momentum uh, because i think pokemon like victini and other pokemon that will see around the team can really benefit from um from momentum victini is mainly one of them a uh, lot of coverage like it's really hard you, you gotta love some victini here um of course uh, bringing bring physical special with momentum like can do lots of things here final gamut is an option as well so victini can just it's, the thing is to be a really hard hitter of course and uh, i decided to pair victini with uh, rillaboom here so rillaboom and victini sound like a really busted core most likely because water types are the best switchings like mainly uh, water type bulky waters rock types are the main switchings to victini and Rillaboom just beats both with priority grassy glide it's really hard with hood hammer can bring swords dance give me momentum as well with u-turn good knockoff user so uh so far a really powerful offensive core between those two um and uh yeah i'm really excited to bring those two i think those two together can can really put my my opponents against the ropes uh, and I don't really need to set up to, to be able to do lots of damage with those two so yeah I decided to use Rillaboom um, I used Rillaboom like once uh, and it was like really early gen 8 so pretty much in the early Garla decks uh, even like didn't even get the, the Grassy Glide so now with Grassy Glide it's way better and I'm really excited to try this thing especially with um, the option with with Victini. So my next pick was Nero Queen. So I decided to, to bring, of course, to draft a bit of bulk. Of course, the um, grassy terrain of Rillaboom makes Nero Queen even better because it will uh, weaken the um, the earthquakes. So uh, Nido Queen is, is nice here because of the the sheer force with her power. So um, get, gives me uh, Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes, which is really cool really bulky Pokemon which your force it's really hard G gives me uh, a lot of um, options as well because got a lot of coverage so it's pretty much Nido Queen I could I was I, I was debating between Nido Queen and Nido King but with Victini and Rillaboom being being around um, so far I think Nido Queen pairs a lot better because of the bulk so yeah really excited to use the uh, the girl that is Nido Queen Next pick was Vaporeon, so I decided to grab a bulky water, of course, Dracovish being allowed 
Um, in the league, I, I always have to grab a bulky water, uh, especially a Pokemon with Water Absorb. So I've decided to give Vaporeon. I decided to... I didn't want to try like Seismitoad and Gastrodon because I already have a ground type in Nidoqueen. And uh, yeah, I want to try Vaporeon 10 points. I think it's pretty fair. Gives me a Wish. A, a, a Wisher a Pokemon with Heal Bell. Momentum with Flip Turn. So uh, another Momentum. And uh, yeah, it's really bulky water pretty much. Especially, especially a, a special defensive wall. Um, that uh, pairs really well with mods like Nidoqueen. Uh, with mods like uh, Rillaboom and Vitini, so uh, yeah, Vaporeon, really bulky, it's, it's a Vaporeon, against Baton, uh, Baton Pass as well, so really different forms of, of momentum, which is always cool, and I think with Baton Pass, uh, Vaporeon is not really fast, so a slower uh, Baton Pass is always cool. Next pick was Cobalion, so my, uh, my steel type here. Uh, and my fighting type, of course. Cobalion is cool here because of the um, the, the speed, uh, mainly. So Vitini was the faster, fastest Pokemon so far. I not I was not really concerned about the speed because, for example, Rillaboom has priority Grassy Glide. Uh, but either way, speed is all important. So I decided to grab Cobalion. Cobalion is nice here. It's not a really offensive Pokemon. It has like 90 base physical attack, but it's really bulky, especially on the physical side. Um, gives me Stealth Procs, Momentum with Volt Switch again, so uh, can can be so bring some rice, really nice sets. Uh, rock Polish with Swords Dance and Weakness Policy can be a thing. Uh, so gives me nice coverage moves as well, Close Combat, Turn Head, Stone Edge, Volt Switch. So can do some things here with uh, with Cobalion, and again being able to set up Procs uh, gives me another um, can give me one more room for Needle Queen for Toxic Spikes, for example. Next pick is Noivern here. For 11 points so it gives me a lot of speed mainly again momentum with u-turn uh, so i'm really prioritizing momentum with this team uh, infiltrator and frisk are two really viable abilities and um yeah pretty much um can hit hurricanes can go for flamethrowers to hit the steel types going for u-turn to gain momentum uh, it's, it's a defogger not the best defogger because no doesn't have like really doesn't have too much bulk uh, but at least it's an option for, for Defog and uh, having access to rocks and toxic spikes I not, not always want to, to, to Defog sometimes my opponents will prioritize um, getting rid of hazards um, before me so uh, yeah, uh, Noivern here really fast of course and uh, a really nice uh, dragon type uh, Illolisk was next, my electric type Again, really fast. Uh, I w I really like electric types that that are able to eat ground types. Even this gives me um, surf. Not sure if gets grass not. Uh, really not sure about that, but please get surf. Uh, as again, momentum with either volt switch and U turn it has glare to paralyze uh, ground types if necessary. And uh, yeah, uh, an immunity to, to water if necessary. If um, if I was, if I, if I'm, I need, if I, I'm having some troubles with the water types, Illolisk gives me that. Of course, Vaporeon is already uh, immune to water, but Illolisk gives me another option. And uh, yeah, if, if I'm not sure if there's a Sun Team on this league, I don't think so. But if there's a Sun Team, Illolisk with the solar power is can be really powerful as well. Of course, being able to having a step from electric types and normal types with Hyper Voice is really really nice as well. Um, next pick is Romatis, another Wisher. Now I wanted a, a fairy type, of course, really important. And uh, Aromatis gives me Wish, Hill Bell, like Moonblast, of course, doesn't have lots of coverage, but it's a Poké Fairy that will help me taking on on Dragon types. Uh, I don't have much to say about uh, Aromatis, honestly. I think it gets um, screens as well. Uh, can be can be a screener. Uh, not sure about that, but I, I think it gets screens. Uh, my next pick is Vanillix. Now I grab Vanillix here because this Pokemon it's really really hard. I love using Vanillix. I think it's such an underrated Pokemon. Uh, having access to Hail so gives me Aurora Veil, which is always cool. And mainly uh, the bad thing, the bad switchings to Vanillix are pretty much Steel types. Uh, I have a Vitini, so that pretty much beats all the Steel types. So uh, yeah, um, the the idea here is to to uh, help um, to help Vitini. Um, calling the, the steel types with Vanillax, bring Victini in and just being able to click uh, uh, blue flares or recreates. 
So there's another thing. Another thing that I like about Vanillix is um, it gets freeze dry, so it can hit uh, bulky waters, of course, for super effective damage. Persian is my next Pokemon, a little Persian. I need a dark type, really fast dark type with Parney Shot. Uh, again, Parney Shot, another form of momentum. Persian gets U turn as well. So, but being able to Parney Shot into Vitini, into Rillaboom, even into Pokemon like Nidoqueen and Nilalisk can be really important and can give me a lot of momentum. And the Persian with the fur coat can be really physically bulky, so that's another thing as well. Of course, being able to get knockoff, gunk shot for uh, fairy types can be actually really important as well. Uh, Corsula Galar was my um, my um, uh, my daughter pick, a bulky ghost type with stealth rock. So I have another rocker. Um, at this point, I was trying to. Uh, form some really nice cores, um, some nice defensive cores. So Persian with Corsula form a really nice defensive core, of course being immune to fighting types. Uh, and my last pick, uh, I, I, I just realized that I only have uh, 11, um, 11 boards like uh, um, in, 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 in the end of the, when I finished all my Pokemon, so I decided just uh, grab the, the last Pokemon uh, and, <laughs> and put it on the, on the slides. But yeah, it's too though for one point. Uh, I decided to grab just um, a flying uh, resistance. Uh, Sudodo gives me a lot of stealth rocker. It's really hard, and uh, sturdy can be a thing. Uh, can be really important. Sturdy Costa Perry can be really important for Pokemon that it's really hard with the uh, Ed Smash and Wood Hammer Earthquakes. So uh, it gives me some really nice um, possibilities here. And Priority Sucker Punch is always nice as well. So this is the theme. Um, next week we are gonna have a week one so I'm really excited to bring a week one to you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoy the um, draft analysis so again please subscribe to the channel so you guys didn't um, you guys can always be tuned in for the for the season uh, and uh, yeah really excited to start playing I really like the team I think it's it's a decent team I don't think it's amazing but I think it's a decent team and uh, we'll see how this season goes I hope it goes well uh, really excited to use Vitini Rillaboom. I think those are two, two really Pokemon that really pair well together. Uh, links to all the coaches will be in the description. So, uh, guys, please just do me a favor and go check them out because um, you guys will see really nice battlers here, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, again, subscribe, hit the like button, uh, just comment what you think about this team. And uh, yeah, again, guys, really thank. Thank, um, thanks for for all the support you guys gave me and uh, yeah uh, I'm kind of tired so I'm gonna get some sleep um, next so thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video so peace guys